Welcome back to March Madness Analysis. Today we are joined by Daniel Oladapo, junior forward from the University of Oakland. Daniel, it's very nice to have you today. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me, man. So you played at a junior college and became one of the more well-known JUCO players in the country and decided to play at Oakland. So why did you choose Oakland? Um, I decided to choose Oakland because I felt like it was the right fit for me. Um, just the way they play and having a legendary coach in Greg, Greg Campy. Um, also, like, I just, I like the the Grizz gang. Shout out to the Grizz gang. Um, the fans just show me a lot of love on my visit. And, you know, I just felt like the right spot. You lead your team in rebounds and are, all, and are always seen hustling on the court. You've even said that you play, you love to play defense. How important is it to you to be an all-around player, both offensively and defensively? unlike many players around the country right now who only love to play offense? Um, I just think, like, you know, you got players in the NBA like Kawhi Leonard, like, that are good on both sides of the ball. Just always, like, when you could play offense and defense, you just have, you add a variety to your game. And, you know, I think, I think that's something every player should have. Right, right. So you guys took a trip out to Greece to play a couple of professional teams. Is that right? Yes. Could you uh, maybe tell us a little bit about that experience? Um, so we played three games in Greece. Um, our first game was against a U17 team, which uh, which went pretty good. Um, you know, we we ended up being them. But our next two games was actually two Greece teams, professional Greece teams. And, you know, the way they moved the ball out there was incredible. Um, it was hard to guard. You know, it really taught us, you know, last year how to play man-to-man -man defense. But it was a great trip to Greece. It was a great trip. Yeah, yeah. So you've already played a couple good games this year against some good teams, and you've had some tight ones too against some Power Five teams. Um, is yeah. there, are there any games in your last two years that you've played that were uh, maybe your favorite games to play in? Um, some favorite, some notable games was last year against Green Bay. I think we played um a second time. Our second time playing them at home was just a great game. It went to like double overtime. It was just a crazy game. It was just a crazy game. Um, another one I would say would be um, this year, this this actual year against um, Michigan. We took them to overtime, had a chance to beat them, you know. And I'm not sure, but it was just a great game by the team. Yeah, and Michigan's a borderline. They are actually in the top 25 now, so that's, that's a pretty good game there. Um, are there any games this year um, that are marked on your schedule that you're most excited for? Um. We just had our last two against USC, falling short to them. Um, some games I'm looking forward to in conference is obviously Detroit Mercy because they're our, our rivalry, you know, every year. Can't be always one. He always gets ready for um, Detroit Mercy. Another team in our conference, I would say, would be Rice State. Rice State for sure, yeah. All right. Well, I I appreciate you being here, and I, I appreciate watching you. I hope you have a great season, and the best of luck to you. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. Have a nice day. Yep, you too.